The week started off quite busy behind the scenes for the Detroit Lions, and coach Dan Campbell was a little worried about a situation that unfortunately happened. This is the time to keep our feet on the ground and focus on Sunday's game against the San Francisco 49ers. I'll tell you all the details and what coach Dan Campbell will do to make up for this loss. But before continuing, make sure you've already pressed the like button if you believe in victory over the San Francisco 49ers. Honestly, I'm very confident. So let's go. Unfortunately, it ended up happening. According to a report from ESPN's Jeremy Fowler, our starting left guard, Jonah Jackson, has undergone surgery for a slight meniscus tear. Tough break, especially with the NFC Championship game against the San Francisco 49ers just around the corner. But hey, let's not dwell on the negative. If our Lions secure that win and make it to the Super Bowl, there's a glimmer of hope that Jackson could make a comeback later in the season. Imagine the boost he could give to our team in the biggest game of the year. Coach Dan Campbell had some words of encouragement for the replacement, Coyote Awosika, who stepped in at left guard after Jackson's injury. In the post-game press conference, Campbell said, Yeah, I thought Yode, Coyote Awosika, stepped up. That was good to see. He went right in there, and I thought we had a five-step drop first play out of the gate, and he just went in there and did really good. But hold on, Lions faithful. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. While Campbell was praising Awosika in the heat of the moment, the advanced stats are raising some eyebrows. According to PFF, Awosika allowed five snaps on 28 snaps. ESPN's next-gen stats went a step further, crediting him with seven pressures. Now, that's a tough spot for a replacement. So, here's the question for you, the heart and soul of Lions fandom. Do you think Awosika can hold his own in the absence of Jonah Jackson? Are you confident in his ability to protect our QB and keep those defenders at bay? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget, if you're loving this Lions coverage, hit that like button, subscribe for more exclusive updates, and let's keep the conversation going. Until next time, one pride.